Hey everyone, I'm Amina and welcome back to my channel, Amina Inspired. So I'm here to inspire you to get to the next level if you hate your job, okay? And apparently 85% of people in the world hate their jobs, okay? So I'm going to give you three tips to get you where you need to be. And no, it does not have anything to do with resigning right now. I'm not telling you to do that because who's going to pay your rent and who's going to feed you. So I'm not telling you to do that. But this is what I did to get the life that I want. And I'm still growing, but I promise you it is rewarding. Okay. So this is what you do. First of all, I want you to identify what it is you want to do for the rest of your life. And there's an easy question that you need to answer that will get you there. Okay, so this is from Brian Tracy and he asks, just close your eyes for a second, okay? Um, if you were guaranteed success and you had no possibility of failure, none at all, you had no worries at all, what would be the one thing that you would do right now and it would bring you so much joy? And it could be anything like playing games, wherever, or dressing people up in stylish clothes, whatever it is, or singing, or whatever. Think about what it is. If you were guaranteed success, there was no possibility of failure, what did you do? So that is the number one thing you have to answer. Take your time, write it down. And the reason why it's so important is that it, it removes all fears, right? Because it's fears that hold us back at a job that we hate, with people that are toxic. It's fear. And, and, and the lack of, of self-belief that holds us back. So now if you have take away all of that and you have your answer. So my answer was that I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to inspire others to greatness. And I haven't changed that. <laughs> that might as well be my slogan. Inspire others to greatness because that's me. That's why, that's why I was put on this earth. And the only way I could package that was to get you to the second level. I'll show, I'll show you now. So the second thing you have to do is you have to, now you've got your goal in mind, no matter what it is, a singer or dance or whatever, write down 20 things that you could do that will get you to that next level. 20 things, no matter what it is. So I wrote down seminars, writing books, doing research. And the 20th thing that I wrote down was having a YouTube channel. And as I wrote it down, I laughed. I was like, YouTube. <laughs> because the thought of being on YouTube and having a, people that know me look at it and, and hate it or troll me or whatever. I was like dead scared. But I wrote it down because I was just writing it down on a piece of paper, right? But in reality, when I wrote it down and I was forced to do it, that was the biggest, biggest shift I could have made into my new life. So I want you to take this time, pause that video, this video, write down 20 things that you can concretely do, whether you want to do it or not. Look at the last one, last one or two ones, and then you'll see that's where most of your fear is and disbelief in yourself. And that's what you need to do. Now, let me tell you how to do it. So remember, I wrote it there, I laughed at it, and I wasn't going to do it. But this is a trick that I've learned over time, and it works for me. I'm not sure it will work for you, but it definitely works for me. And I call it well, it's called name it to claim it. Okay, I forget who said it, but you've got to name it to claim it. So what I did was when people ask me about myself, I would say, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. And I said that and I'm like, well, I'm still in, I'm still under construction, but my YouTube channel will be out in a month or so. So I would say that to people just to become comfortable with the words, I am a YouTuber. And of course, at some point, somebody told me, somebody asked me like, okay, so what date is it coming out? And then I said, mm, the end of the month, 31st of October, which was Halloween. And I gave a date and I didn't even know. And then I was asked, what's your channel about? So you see, other people are going to force you to concretize your dream, right? And to take action. And so lo and behold, on the 31st of October, it came out. Okay. So you got to name it to claim it. Now I know there's also a strategy where you like keep quiet and let success be on big noise. But what happens is a lot of people keep things on the down low, so low that it never comes out and nobody ever holds them accountable because they never said anything. So I prefer people to just name it to claim it. So those are the three things. One, identify what your goal is, what you should be doing on this earth. And you, and you do that by answering the question, what did I do if I had no possibility of failure? Two, I want you to list down 20 things that you can do in your future, for your future, 
and I want you to choose the last two or three and do it. And the way you trick yourself to do it, the third thing, is you have to name it to claim it. So start telling people what you're going to do. Put it in my comment section or get hold of me on Instagram and say, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be doing this. And if, you, if I don't do this, you can come haunt my steps. And I will. <laughs> so I hope this helps you. Remember, it's not about designing right now big moves. It's about these small steps that you take in the right direction that is going to change your life. Okay, so that's me. I gotta go. If this is your vibe, subscribe. And if you care, share. Much love, always.